And this is Asma Khale from Cloud Pages and in today's video we will be talking about Ali, uh, AliExpress drop shipping and fulfillment for WooCommerce plugin settings and configuration and how you can create a link between AliExpress and you, your WooCommerce site and how you can import your products. There's a lot of information in this video. So stay tuned with us and check out this video. So without further ado, let's just straight, jump straight to the tutorial. Okay guys, so the prerequisite, there are two prerequisites that you need to have before we start whatever we're going to do in this video. Number one is that you need to have your AliExpress dropshipping and fulfillment uh, and fulfillment for WooCommerce uh, plugin all installed. It's super simple. You only have to get it from their site and then upload it, install it and activate it. That's it. And the number two, second uh, prerequisite that you need to have, you need to have your WooCommerce store all set up and ready to use. Once you do that, you'll be able to see your WooCommerce uh, uh, tab over here and you'll be able to see your dropship and fulfill tab over here when you will install the plugin. Okay, so after you do that, let's start what we're going to do next. Number one, you need to have your WooCommerce AliExpress dropshipping extension added to your Chrome. So simply click on add to Chrome. Click on add extension. Your extension has been added. It's super simple. Okay, so once you do that, go to AliExpress. Let me pin my extension on the top. Let's click on that. Now it's going to need your domain name. So let me get my domain name. And paste it over here. A domain name is over here. Next is we need to authenticate. So we need to create a link between AliExpress and between our site. So click on need authentication. Approve it. Super simple. So what happened over here is we created a little, you can say a link between AliExpress and between our site. So once that is done, we are ready to get our products from AliExpress and import it on our site. So it's super simple how you guys can do that. There are two ways that you guys can do that basically. Just simply click on jewelry or any kind of tab that you want and you will be able to see these little markings on the top of the product. So the first way to import is this is the category page and you can import it using the category page. So any any product with the red tab, it means that the product has been sold out or it's not available yet or you won't be able to get it. So leave those and the ones that have the green tab, you can add those since they're available and you can get it. You can also import the non-available one and they will stay in your import list. And after some time, whenever they're available, you can simply import them to your site. So I'm going to click on the products that are available. And you can see that they are being imported to my site. The second way you can import products are that you can click on a product and eventually a single product page will open up. Let me close this Where is it? social tab and you'll be able to see this little window on the product page. Simply click on import. So this way you will be able to see, okay, so this is the detail for my product. Okay, so this is the quantity, this is the size, I can get this and you can simply click on import and, and it will be imported to your site. So we have imported products from AliExpress and make them go to our site. So go, let's go to our site's dashboard. From here, click on dropship and fulfill and click on import list. Now you'll be able to see all the products that we have just sent over from AliExpress. Now they're going to stay in this list until you import uh, now. You click on import now. So once you do that, they will be added to your shop. Now they can stay over here. For example, if you don't want this product right now, but you may, may want it later on and you won't be able to find it AliExpress again and again since you know there are products that are being added so many times a day so you can just leave them over here and after a week you can simply import, click on import now they will be imported to your site so let me just import all of these products that we selected It's going to take a couple of minutes, but don't worry, it happens. 
maybe a couple of seconds that's it and once you do that you will be able to see that all of your products will be added to your shop so take the last one let's just wait for it okay so once this is done click on imported right underneath the importers that we just previously clicked okay over here you can see that all of your products have been successfully successfully been uh, imported now you can see this little green sync thing if this is red that means that your product is not in sync with the same product on aliexpress but right now all of these are green that means that there's a link between this product on my page and the same product on aliexpress so for example if there's a change in description on Ali, Alex, uh, aliexpress or there's a change in pricing on aliexpress automatically the, this product will have the same changes since they are in sync uh, you can also edit them you can also change them so if i click on edit my woocommerce product page will open up for that product and i can change the description as i want i can add even more images i can add change i can change images i can add videos i can change the pricing whatever i want i can do that for every product okay so let me just close this next one is that one we have imported products from aliexpress now what happened over here is we have created this little link between our site and aliexpress and we have uh, options from aliexpress on our site so if a customer will come on our site and we'll be like okay i want to buy this automatically the order will be placed on aliexpress so our uh, little third party connection will is created successfully next is you can change the just a second okay so next is that you can change the settings for this plugin you can change them you can configure them as much as you want so when you click on dropship and fulfill you will be able to see all of these options displayed the general product product price product attributes product video product sync product splitting product overriding product migration fulfill front end shipping tracking carrier and update so uh, let's quickly go through each and every one of them i will not be explaining what every option means in every tab uh, there's an article that is uh, mentioned in the description of this video where you can see a detailed description of each and every point that is in this settings okay so in general you have the general settings you can change a number of things and after you do that make sure to click on save settings otherwise your say uh, settings will won't be saved next is the product page okay so with the product page you can have as many changes uh, for the products that you are uh, basically importing from the page okay so these are the global rules for every single product and what will happen is that these rules will be implemented to those imported products before they are displayed on your shop next one is product price so uh, by default every product price is mentioned in usd so all of the products will have their pricing in usd for example if you are in uh, you can say saudi or pakistan you need your pricing to be in pkr or you're in england you want your pricing to be in pounds so you can change uh, that over here you can have the exchange rate you can have the exchange rate api and super simply uh, you can change the pricing on your woocommerce page next is the product attributes okay so product attribute settings allows you to see all the product variations and then update or replace the current variation terms with any of you want for example if aliexpress is giving out a multitude of colors for a product and you only want two or three options to be displayed on your page this will help you with that next is the product video so sometimes there are videos of the product on aliexpress and by enabling these options you will be able to import the video from the site to your site from aliexpress's site from your, to your site 
so the same video that is on aliexpress will be displayed on your site next is product same now this functionality allows you to automatically adjust the pricing the quantity uh, of the imported products on your woocommerce store when the value of uh, aliexpress change so basically you remember in the imported list we talked about that little green box the all of these configurations will apply to that thing for example if there's a change over there so there should be a change over here it's super simple and so necessary since if uh, there are multiple changes uh, around the holidays or around any other um, you know early functions uh, and you want the same changes to be applied to your uh, site this will help you with that okay so next is product migration now this allows you to migrate your aliexpress product data by importing products from other sources such as uh, ali dropship or whatever and once you do that uh, this will happen of course you have to click on save settings every single time all you have to do is click just enable this little thing and it will automatically uh, automatically do it for you the migration stuff so once you do that click on save settings they will be done for you next is the full fill okay so what happens is the uh, customers are make putting orders on our side but who is putting orders on aliexpress so what you need to do is for example you need to check your carrier company you need to add your address your now uh, your mobile number everything and once you do the changes over here automatically be whenever there's a product placed on your site this information will be added to the aliexpress on your orders next is the front end shipping so this have uh, this tab will help you with the shipping options so for example if i want whether i want cod whether i want bank transfer whatever so how will those option be displayed in front of you whether i want a little pop up window whether i want a radio option whether i want a little select option whatever this will help you with that and of course all of these changes are discussed in detail in the article that is mentioned in the description of this video next is tracking carrier so this is the tracking carrier uh most with most of the shipping companies the name changes with some countries for example aliexpress direct will be known as something else in some other country so you can change the names accordingly uh and you can track your options you can track uh, whether where your options are right now and all of those options next is the update tab okay so you need to get your update key from uh, the site to do so simply click on here get your key what will happen is that if there are any updates in the plugin they will automatically be done for you okay so this is all about how you can configure the settings for aliexpress dropshipping and fulfillment for woocommerce plugin next is where are where will our orders be shown so next scroll down to woocommerce tab and click on orders over here you will be able to see all of the orders that have been previously been given to you so whether they are cancelled or on hold or they are in processing or they are in shipping they will be shown over here so this uh, in this way you can have the all of the information at one place you can uh, also uh, download this information or uh change the information accordingly you can have you can do bulk actions for this you can have them cancelled or you can have them imported to other sites okay so that is it for today if you still have any questions don't forget to like and subscribe cloud pages and if you still have any questions don't forget to mention those questions in the comment section thank you